everyone, it's me, Miss W. Do you have your favorite teddy bear that you love to cuddle with? Or do you have a favorite story about bears that you love to read, like Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Well, if so, you're gonna love today's Artrageous Art lesson because we get to learn about a new element of art called texture, and we're gonna be using texture and shapes to make a drawing of your very own favorite teddy bear. In art, it's important that when you look at a piece of artwork, you know the difference between a drawing or a picture of a real bear and an imaginary bear. So I checked out some books about bears and this one's a non-fiction book. So it's all about real bears. It has facts about bears. And I learned something really cool. Like, did you know that teddy bears were actually named after one of our presidents? That's right, this is our 26th president, Theodore Roosevelt, and he was a hunter. But on one hunting trip, he refused to shoot a black bear that was tied up. So a toy manufacturer named the cute brown cuddly teddy bears after Theodore Roosevelt. I thought that was so cool. Now with your teddy bear, like I said, you're gonna be using shapes to make your teddy bear and also texture. So to get started, you need a pencil and a white piece of paper. Now, the first element of art we're gonna use are shapes. And there are two kinds of shapes in art. There's organic shapes that come from nature and geometric shapes. We're gonna be using geometric shapes called circles. So I printed these off for you to look at so that you can see what to draw first. And the first thing we're gonna draw near the top of our paper, really big, is a circle for the head. Now I like to draw light until I get it right. Now for the teddy bear's tummy, I'm gonna draw a really big, even bigger circle. And it's going to overlap his head. And then I'm gonna draw two half circles for his ears at the top of his head. And in the middle of his face, I'm gonna draw kind of a rectangle for his nose. And then I'm gonna add his feet at the bottom. So I'm gonna do two half circles at the bottom of the page for his feet. And his arms are gonna be a curved line that comes down over his tummy and he's gonna be holding a heart in his hands. Now his eyes, I'm gonna draw right above his nose and they're gonna be two small oval shapes which are like a circle. Now I'm gonna add some details like circles in his ears, a smile under his nose, and then I'm going to trace over all my pencil lines with a black Sharpie. Now, when I trace the lines, I can show texture by making the lines bumpy because bumpy lines make it feel like the teddy bear is furry. I'm going to color in his eyes with the black Sharpie and I'm going to trace over the pencil lines of the teddy bear's body. Now you can see I'm also adding other cool details like a pirate patch and some patches on my teddy bear. So get creative. You don't have to make yours look like anyone else's. You can make up your own teddy bear. I'm also gonna write my code on the back and I'm gonna write my name on the front and I'm gonna color his nose black with a Sharpie. Now I'm gonna put my cap on my Sharpie cause I don't want it to dry out. And now I'm ready to start adding texture. Now, the way that we're gonna add texture is by using something really cool called a texture plate. A texture plate is like a piece of plastic and it has different textures on both sides. So you get to pick out a texture plate and the texture plates work well with colored pencils like what I'm using or with a crayon. So once you pick out the texture you like for your teddy bear, you put the texture plate under your paper and you hold it with one hand and then you color on top of your paper with the colored pencil or crayon really nice and dark. You also wanna color in neat so that you stay inside the lines, but you can see when I rub the colored pencil across my paper with the texture plate underneath, the texture shows up on my teddy bear. Isn't that awesome? 
So you can pick out a lot of different textures and try some different ones for each part of your bear, or you can use all the same texture. It's up to you. But we wanna practice using these texture sheets and make our teddy bears look really soft and furry and bumpy.